Hey, there he is. Good to see you, man. How's it going in Cape Town? How's it going in Cape Town? Have you got Caspers at the end of your street? Uh, not much happens here. It's very quiet. I'm in Faro in the suburbs. Okay. Every day is Groundhog Day, pretty much. <laughs> and um, we've been on this, we're just talking about the, the join the queue thread of um, how it's so easy to be caught in a shitstorm. Um, you've, just, you've just put up on the Fields of Green for All blog the latest join the queue story. And I think we've got a video in the background to play at some point, a short video of a roadblock in case. Unfortunately for them, they forgot their license at home. Now, the way I analyze the situation, uh, if there's something like that as serious as not having a license on you, the cops jump for it. And then if they see weed, you know, it's like, uh, it's, it's, it's a red flag, they jump for it. So they, who, uh, if th these guys didn't have their license on them, if they did have their license on them, I wonder if the police would have treated them the same. And uh, if they had cigarettes and not weed, would that have made a difference? Well, that's what I want to get onto, really. It must be getting pretty nerve jangling driving around with like 200 ciggies in you because I just heard today that it's 1,400 bucks for a carton of 20 ciggies. And that's starting to get any. Does anybody know what the weight of the tobacco is in one, one cigarette is? What do you reckon it is? What do you reckon the weight of the actual tobacco? One gram. Huh? One gram. A gram. One so gram. that's, so that's one twenty. Point, one point two, yeah. Twenty grams in a packet times twenty, so that's um, mathematics. Yeah, obviously, with the filter, so imagine minus the filter, so it's less than a gram. It's maybe point eight of a gram. All right. So what I'm trying to get at is that I, literally how much tobacco narcotic is in a carton of 20 packets what do you reckon because if you divide that by 1400 uh, bucks if you divide if you div 60 times 160 grams. all right 160 grams and it's 140 <laughs> it's 140 tobacco bucks less than cannabis. So, yeah awesome it's 160 grams a week of tobacco is 104 is 1400 rand so that's like 100 bucks a gram yeah no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's five hundred grand. It's what? It's five hundred grand. Yeah, it's, it's claimed to be the same price as street weed. Hang on, if it's hundred and sixty grams in a packet, and it's fourteen hundred yeah, bucks to that? buy, is it gram it's seventy rand a gram. It's nearly. It's just over seventy rand a gram. So it's the same as fucking outdoor. <laughs> oh, in the, in the rich areas, maybe outdoor yeah. is. Crazy situation. So I wonder and if you a get. A month ago, we would have laughed if you told us that. It's just a month ago, and look where we are now. Look where we are now. Yes. So, um, so uh, yeah, the, the, the police have a heavy job, Jules. Um, they actually have other things to do. One would want to say they have better things to do. But uh, store busting people for weed is unacceptable in, in this time. And if you, if you don't read the story, these two guys were held up at the police station the entire day. And there, there were no restrictions in place to protect them against any viruses. People weren't wearing masks. They were sent left and right. Um, and in the end, their lawyer got them bailed out. There are court cases in July, and we don't know what will happen next. But the, the bottom line is it should not have happened. Uh, the police shouldn't just stop random cars at this time. They should only stop cars if there's a sign of trouble. I mean, they didn't have a license, but that's a completely separate issue. Uh, uh, you know, the... the this just should not happen. If we look at the past, there were lots of arrests, and lately there's been less. And now with COVID-19, there's even less, but the big busts remain. Mm -hmm. And going forward, we, we, we must actually get it into our heads to stop targeting to say that the police are the issue, because they are the symptom. Okay, we're very angry at them, and they shouldn't be doing that, but it's not going to stop if we keep on telling them to stop. Yeah, they're we just need to following. Communicate with the government. Yeah. We need to get the law to change. Because that's the only way the police would stop. They're just a symptom. They are not the enemy. They are a symptom. They are no. people that aren't trained to deal with cannabis. And they don't really know what they are doing when it comes to cannabis arrest. But surely they the should... The rest of it is none of no. our business. How, how they treat other issues, that's for, for, for other activists. But we are fighting for them to leave the cannabis uh, fans alone, the stoners and whoever else. And 
that will only come from the top. We need to go to the top, not to the police. They're on the ground like us. And so, uh, so anybody that's doing a joint, uh, that's not our fault. So <laughs> But shouldn't the cops be punished for, for abusing? Hi ma'am, it's what like to know. This is my personal stuff, this. My personal guns, it's not bought or sell. And they... And I cannot stress this enough. The cops. Yeah, um... But what I'm saying is to solve the situation, looking forward, what's going to mm -hmm. happen in two, three or four years? We, we need no, we do need to change the rules. Regulation this year, we need it. Hi, ma'am. I'd what I'd like to know. This is my personal stuff, this. My personal guns are it's not bought or sell. And they... I don't worry. You can take a video. What can apply to you? What, what can apply to the Africans? It's also going to apply to Yes, ma'am. I know, ma'am. Yes, weed all over. It's just trying to, just to get through all of this shit. The video that you've just been seeing on the thread is them um, <coughs> in Cape Town, and it is police basically saying, "Get out of the car, or you're in deep shit." There are new. You you can talk about your human rights as much as you like at that point. Uh, they're not going to buy it. And I don't know whether you noticed on that video that the weed was on the roof of the car. Hi, ma'am. That's what I'd like to know. This is my personal stuff. This. Personal guns, it's not bought or sell. And they. I don't worry, you can take a video. What can apply to you? What, what can apply to the Africans? It's also going to apply to Yes, ma'am. I know, ma'am. Yes, it's fine, you can make Yeah, but they were there for most of the day. Uh, and I have to say that. In this time, I really have to praise our lawyers, and the lawyer that helped us that day is not even somebody that I've dealt with before, but I managed to find him on the internet, and he got the guys out, he, he, they paid bail, and they didn't get their flowers back, but their court case is coming up in July, and by the, if you look at what has been happening lately, that case will just get postponed or thrown out, really, I, I can't see... These guys did nothing wrong. They really did nothing wrong. They had weed on them. And those okay, cops they might get a fine yeah. for not having a driver's license, but that's that's not the issue. Pretty fucked up, eh? It's just, it's just absolutely incredible. So, um, uh, what's your, the, um, there is actually a case lodged, and they have to appear. There is a docket opened, yeah. Yeah. That's madness. Yeah, and they got a lawyer, but uh, you, you know, uh, two years ago, before the privacy judgment uh, if you got bust it was quite easy on the civil level to get yourself out of there without a lawyer but today even before covid if you got bust you need a lawyer because it's always a complicated situation the police don't let it go uh, and nobody since the privacy judgment even nobody has taken the cost on not a single person that's got bust put money up and paid a lawyer and took the cost on N nobody has enough money or guts or i don't know what it is um, maybe people with we don't have a lot of money, but nobody has taken the cost off. All right. Uh, if, will that help? Is the other question. Um, I actually don't think it will make that much difference. Like I said before, we should go to the top and, and treat treat it there. Uh, it's, it's no use taking on single cases and suing police in one town and then in another town. It's not going to make a difference in the end. We need to take it right from the top. Well, uh, maybe we can't do a thing while we've got the next 10 years under fascist martial law, but we'll have to see. Shah, where can everyone get hold of you, man? If, if shit goes down, where, it, where are you? Where's the hotline? Before you go, we're going to get on to the next guest okay, in a minute. I, I must just, yeah, I must just say I'm not a lawyer, so I'm probably just going to refer you to a lawyer. But the, the big thing that I do is when people report busts to me, is I tell them to know their rights. Because if you're going to appear again in court, and if you're going to carry on dealing with the cops, you must know your rights. If you don't know your rights, you get abused. Because you believe everything they tell you, and they don't just tell you the truth, they tell you anything they can suck out of their thumb. So know your rights, people, and be polite, but, but know your rights. If you don't know your rights, you're in serious trouble. 
All right, man. Well, it's always cool to catch up with you. It's a real shame that you weren't locked down in Joburg with us because uh, you spend a lot of time up at Fields of Green here and the dogs miss you, bro. The dogs are wondering where Charles is all the time. <laughs> so, Lee, I am... I miss you guys too. I'm, I'm... Cheers, Charles. I'm sure when all of this is over, we'll get together again. Um, thank you for the update, Charles. I'm sure you'll be listening to the rest of it. Um... Keep the fire burning down there. And thanks for all the work you do on that crazy hotline of yours. Oh, being arrested at a time like this must be absolutely crazy. <laughs> Damn it. Um, a, lot of pe a lot of the cops have pulled away, but, uh, but at a roadblock now, anything could happen. So, um, I don't know. I'm not carrying any weed around at the moment. I'm just, I've literally been out. Uh, Buzz holds the world record for not going out. I'm the second world record holder in not going out. And uh, Myrtle, Myrtle's a close third. I went out for the second time today to, to, um, to deliver food and stuff to, fuck, to staff that aren't here, to employees that are sitting the other side of the location not working because they're not allowed to. So I don't know how long that's going to go on. Anyway, good to hear from Charles. Oh, <laughs> my